starting in 5 seconds. I need hardly tell you how happy I feel in being in your midst this evening. I have been looking forward to this visit for more than a year. I was to have visited this beautiful part of the country sometime last year, partly on account of ill health at that time and partly on account of several preoccupations during the later period I was not able to fulfill this wish until today. My pleasure is all the greater because I had to meet some difficulties even on this occasion. Fortunately, they were all overcome and today I find myself in your midst. My desire to come here was due very largely to the fact that I was anxious to meet you and to know your condition at first hand. This area, like some other areas in this province, was sealed to us and we were not permitted to come here. I know that even in 1947, when the Constituent Assembly was meeting in Delhi and I had appointed a committee with the late Chief Minister of the state as its chairman, the committee was not allowed to enter some parts of this province. Therefore, I made up my mind then that as soon as it was possible, I should pay a visit to these parts and see some of the places which were previously banned. I am therefore happy that I have at last been able to fulfill that wish although the Constituent Assembly could not send its subcommittee to these parts, it was not negligent of your interest. The constitution makers took special care to make suitable provisions for the governance of this area. Our anxiety was to see that you make progress as quickly as possible. I am not one of those who look upon the tribal people as backward. I know you have your own customs, your own culture, your own way of life. We are anxious that you should progress and do so in your own special way. India is a vast country. We have any number of religion, any number of systems of life and any number of customs. It is this picture of India that we have in view. Just as in a beautiful structure, you have got any number of stones and bricks collected and pieced together here in India. We have got so many kinds of people all living together. It is after a long time that we have become independent and attained complete freedom. We are now free to build our house in the way we like. I want you to realize that each one of you is now the ruler of not only of one corner of India but of India as a whole. I have been elected president of the country as a whole. Any one of you can be elected like me to this high position. There is no bar, there is no restriction. You have to win it by your own service and by your love of the country. I am hoping that the day is not far off when the so-called backward people will come to occupy the highest positions in society. I would therefore earnestly request you to consider 
what great achievement has been made by our attaining independence i have heard with great interest what you have said about your requirements and needs i am not surprised i would have been surprised if you had not told me of that it is a happy sign that you have begun to feel that you know something and you have got somebody to whom you can make that demand i was somewhat surprised when i was told while coming to this place this morning that no head of the state had ever visited these parts before well whatever might have happened in the past you must rest assured that your interest will be the interest of the country as a whole it is realized that the greatest need of this part of the country at the present moment is improvement in communications and means of transport as a result of the partition assam as a province was cut off from the rest of the country as the railway line which linked it with the rest of india passed through pakistan the government of india therefore naturally thought that the first priority should be given to the linking of assam with the rest of the country by means of a railway which passes through indian territory and not through pakistan that was done in record time by our railway department in the course of my present visit i have traveled to this part on that railway line the government is also aware that you need a railway to link this part with say golpara or dubri the matter is under active consideration and a survey is going to be made once it is done many industries will develop here as you say the government is giving also a high priority to the making of the roads there stop